Welcome to the class page and assignments tour. Today I'll be walking you through how to manage your class page. To access the class page, you'll just click on the class manager located under your main menu. And once you do that, you'll see a list of your classes. Now, if you don't have any classes, you'll want to click the add new class button here. But if you do have classes, you'll click on your class, which will take you to the class page and assignments. Now, the first thing you'll notice is class page activated. And it'll give you a note here that when your class page is activated, students will be able to view your class page. So this just means when your students navigate to my classes, they'll be able to see your class. When they're able to see your class, they're also able to see your assignments. Your class page is activated once you create a class. However, if you want to come in here and deactivate your class page, you'll change this yes to no. Moving forward, we have the block other material feature, and you have a note here that when other material is blocked, students will only be able to use Study Island topics assigned on the class page. They will not be able to navigate to other topics using the navigation bar on the left. So students have these programs, their state and national programs. If you turn block other material on, they will not be able to access those programs. This will affect other teachers' classes, so just be conscientious of that because it can stop the students from being able to access their programs. Next, we have the class page header. The class page header is how your students will see the class. So if you want to change the name of the class that you have given here so that your students see something differently, you would change the class page header and click Update. And that's the same for the class updates and news. So any news or announcements you have for your students, you'll put in this area and then hit the update button. Next, we have class assignments and student assignments. The difference between the two is class assignments is given to the whole class, so everyone you have selected in this class, whereas student assignments will be specific students or groups of students that you select when creating the assignment. It won't be the whole class. So that is the class page and assignments. I recommend you watch the video on how to create an assignment, which will come shortly after this one.